Hi, this is Dan from Open Road Toyota Richmond, and what I have here is the 2020 CHR XLE. So I'll be going over the features of this vehicle and what to expect when you pick up your car. So let's get started. All right, so let me show you the back of the vehicle. You do have the keyless entry feature, so all you have to do is press a button if you have the key with you, and then it opens up just like that. So let me just show you. As you can see, you get the back of the camera right there. The big flat one over there is to open the tailgate and the small one to the very far right is to lock your car. So when you do open this all the way, you do get a cover. Now, if you wanted to take the cover off, all you have to do is take off this string, that string over there, and all you have to do is just pop it out and same thing for the other side. So I'm just gonna snap this back in. You also have your cloth mats just right over here. Underneath this, as you can see, underneath, you actually get a space area. So it's not a full-size tire, but it is fully inflated. Your jacks and tools are just right over here. And that's pretty much it for the back. So to close it, right up here, you have to put your hand just like this and close it. All right, so let me show you the rear passenger side. As you approach the rear passenger side, what you'll have here is a very unique handle for the door. When you open it, the cup hold is right here. Nice detail on the side here. You get cloth seats. And down here is to hide the car seat tethers. You also have this over here to pull down the seats so you can pull this one down same thing for the other side same mechanism just over here you got the top tether for car seats now when you do pull down that side as well you get a pretty flat surface so you can put many things here you can also sleep in there if you wanted to so let me explain to you what this is this means it's out of place so if you put it back here that's still up that means it's not in place so just push it back snaps back in all right and that's pretty much it for the rear passenger side so let's talk about the driver's side all right so for the driver's side you do get keyless entry so let me just lock the car as you can see over there you do have auto folding mirrors so as soon as you touch the back of the handle it unlocks for you just like that the mirror comes out open the door and what you'll have here really nice blue trims and you'll be greeted by this. So let me just show you what this is. All right, basic window controls here. Window lock, so if you press this and that button is illuminated, what that means is that no one can touch the windows except for you. This over here, lock and unlock features right here. Uh, this over here is for the auto folding mirrors. Uh, if you don't, right now it's in the middle, so it's for auto, but you can do it manually as well if you just do that. This over here is for the mirrors, so Left mirror, move it around like a joystick. Right mirror, this over here is neutral. What you have here are seat controls. All right, so the back one's for the backrest. This over here is to pump the seats, just like this, or pump it down. This over here is lumbar support, so this is to pull it back, this is to pull it forward. So let me show you. I'm gonna push it forward, and it bumps up. It's very comfy. To move the seat forward and back, you have this over here, just like this. If you want to move forward, just like that. All right, you also have these buttons right over here. Press and hold, gas cap pops open. Heated steering wheel, so if you have this heated steering fe wheel feature, from this point to this point, it will heat up. From this point to this point will heat up. These parts, the bottom here, top there, will not heat up. When your car is on, this is to dim the lights. So let me show you right here. No, brighten it and dim it. This is great to have this option. You also have auto headlights right over here. So auto headlights, when you press this, what will actually happen is that it will automatically switch to low beam if it senses that a vehicle or anything is too close. Once it's just you on the highway and nothing else on the road, it will actually switch back to high beam. So that's pretty much it for the side buttons over here. So I'm going to talk about the steering wheel and the inside. 
Once you're inside the vehicle, what you have here are different buttons on the steering wheel, which I'll go over. So these buttons over here is actually to skip between presets, or if you're connected on Bluetooth, you can actually skip different songs. Mode is to switch between AF, FM radio. If your Bluetooth was connected, it will switch to that as well. You also have volume adjustments right over here. This is to pick up calls, hang up calls, and this is like Siri or Google Assistant. So when you press this, what will happen is that it will beep and then you can say call so-and-so, just like this. Call so-and-so, tune, uh, browse my music, and all that. So it's like a nice hands-on experience with this so that you can keep your eyes on the road while uh, Assistant does everything for you. So you also have this over here. So you have cruise control right down here. Same thing as any other cruise control. So when you pressed this over here, you'll say, now it's usually used for expressways or on the highway. So once that is set, you'll see that on. So when you press down for set, up for resume. So set is to set the speed you're currently at. So for example, if you're going 80, it will only set to 80. And you don't have to press on the gas and it'll just keep going 80. Resume, when you press it up, it'll increase the speed and pull it towards you for canceling. Other than that, you have this. So this is actually radar. So this adjusts the radar. So if I press it once, you'll see two bars, right, three bars. You press again, two bars, press again, one bar. So this cycles between the three bars. And what this represents is how far you want to keep the distance in front of you. So for example, if the car in front of you is going 80, and you want to keep this amount of space. The space varies depending on the speed you're going. So for example, this would be the furthest distance, closest distance, and medium distance. So if the person is going 80 and he slows down to 76, your car will also slow down to 76, and that is the radar. So you also have this over here as well. So I'm gonna turn off the cruise control. This over here is the lane departure alert, so LDA on. So what this is, is that if you are on the road and you have to be going 50 kilometers an hour or more, so once you're on the road and you step on the yellow or white lines without signaling, what will happen is that it will actually warn you that you are departing the lane and actually prevent you from steering onto that lane. So what it would do is that it will steer, but then it will stop here and just nudge you slightly back, but it won't steer all the way for you. So when this feature is on, you'll see that right down there. And if I press this over here, so this controls the multi-information display. I'm gonna press right over here. So you can actually get a better view. So to know it's on, you'll see this, but if I turn it off, you'll just see off. Uh, so this over here is to control that screen over there. So if I press on right again, you'll see this. Right now it says no messages. So what this is actually, if there's anything going on with your vehicle, this will tell you. For example, if your key is running low on batteries, this will tell you as well. To low windshield wiper fluid, door opening, a window open, this will tell you. Uh, one more time to the right, you'll see different drive modes, blind spot monitor. So this over here, you can adjust it. So if you don't want it to you know, stop you from turning, you can turn that off sensitivity as well so I'm gonna press the back button this over here is the back is just to go back so over here is pre-collision system you can turn it off or on just the sensitivity uh, press back over here to go back blind spot monitors just right over here all right so I'm gonna turn it off turn it back on you can actually see well it's actually kind of bright there but you see it's yellow anybody in your blind spot that will light up all right so you can actually adjust the sensitivity the brightness and RCTA is rear cross traffic alert, so that works uh, the same thing as backing up. So if you back up and say the right side is on, that means someone's coming from the right. So this is for when you're backing up. So let me just go back. One other thing is drive mode. So when you press on this, sport mode, eco mode. So sport, more acceleration, feels a bit faster. Eco, less acceleration, but saves you more on gas. So when you go down here, vehicle settings, meter settings. So vehicle settings is for maintenance reminders. Meter setting, if you wanna change the meters to miles instead, yes, you can look at this too, but then it's also best to look at digital. So one more time, you'll go back here, and this is the information tab. Uh, this is the most popular one. Kilometers an hour digitally, and also distance to empty. So one more thing is that you have this trip button over here. Trip B, trip A, so now, say if you wanted to record your trips, you can. If you want to reset it back to zero, just press and hold and it'll reset it back to zero. So that's pretty much it for the steering wheel controls. Now let's talk about the infotainment system. All right, so this is the infotainment system. Right now is your home screen. Now, if your phone is connected on Bluetooth, this would actually be where you would 
set your speed dials. This over here is whatever's playing on the radio. If it's connected to Bluetooth, it will say what song is playing. And this is how well you're driving. So this actually keeps a history of how well you're driving. If you want to say, you know, improve your fuel efficiency score, you definitely can as well. But when you press menu, this is the important stuff right here. So as you notice, there is an audio button here, phone button there. These are shortcuts, but it is touchscreen. So audio. So if you want audio, you have different presets. So if you wanted to say, I want News 1130, you can definitely use this to turn it. So say I'm going to switch back to News 1130, but I want it on number two. Well, that's number five. So let me press number two. So if you press and hold, you hear a beep. You can actually set any presets. So same thing for FM. If you like FM radio stations, you want to save it. And then, you know, on the steering wheel over here, you can just switch different presets just like that. All right. So you can press source to switch to FM or press audio, Bluetooth, and FM radio. So also on the menu, you also have apps over here. So if you don't have a, you know, an Android phone or an Apple phone, uh, then this is another way to connect to your f car. So you'd have to download Scout GPS and Intune 3.0, then you can connect your car like that. But most people have iPhones and Android phones. So projection is for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So for as a Android Auto, what you would have to do is download Android Auto on your Play Store. And then what will happen is that you just connect your phone right over here. This is the USB just right below. Once you connect your phone and you enable the features to allow access to your phone, what it will actually do is turn this into Android Auto. So projection over here will turn into Android Auto. If you press on that, then you can use Android Auto. So that means you can use your Google Maps with the data on your phone. As for Apple CarPlay, you don't actually have to download the app. Same thing, you plug it in your phone, but you need to make sure Siri is enabled. Without Siri, it won't actually let you do that. So you just go on your phone, go to Siri and enable it. You have to answer, you have to make sure to train Siri. You have to say, hey Siri, you know, hey Siri, play a song and stuff like that. Pretty much to set up Siri. So once that's all set up, then you can press that. And then Google Maps is the most popular use for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Info is just the same thing you'll see here. It's just uh, same thing on the home screen right here, how well you're driving. Setup is for different options. Connecting your Bluetooth just right over here. Uh, other than that, if you don't like the beep, you can turn it off. Projection settings to turn on and off Apple CarPlay. Uh, customize home screen. Instead of the three screens, you can have two, you can have four, and set it to whatever order you'd like. So that's pretty much it there. Uh, you do have climate control over here. So heated seats just right over here. All right, same thing over here. You do have dual climate control. So this over here is for the fan. You can have it cold. You can have it high right here. Now, if you're by yourself in your car, you don't want to just keep pressing this. You press sync and you can control them both. Air conditioning just right over here. Air recirculation. Let me just turn down the fan. This is to cycle between different modes. Front and rear defogger right over here. So this also heats up the mirrors as well. This over here is for um, heating up the wiper blades. So if it's cold, it's frozen, you press this, it'll actually heat up the wiper blades, just like the rear defogger over here, how it heats up the back, but this actually heats up just the wiper blades and makes them uh, nice and warm for you so you can use them. Uh, so other than that, you have auto, it's for automatic fan control. You can press that. Um, other than that, eco heat and cool is just for the climate control. So don't be get it confused with the eco mode on driving uh, because this over here just saves you a little bit of power on just the climate control. So that's pretty much it here. Uh, one other thing is that I did make a video on the auto parking brake and brake hold features here. Uh, so, you know, automatic parking brake, put it in drive, turns off, put it back on. Uh, to make this video short, um, you I'm going to link the video down below on this smart key uh, if you want more information on that and the brake hold and parking brake feature. Uh, one other thing is that you have these controls up here, left light, right light. If you want to know what door is right here, you might not get door, but door is that if you press it and it's active, you open the door, close the door, turns off. Most people have that on, uh, so I'm just going to leave that on. If you want inform more information, this glove box is a bit different. There is no handle. You actually just press it and it comes out just like this. Instruction manuals are right in here if you want to know more about your vehicle. Uh, you also have wheel locks over here. So in case you need to change your tire uh, or just, you know, just you need to take your tires off in any way. 
you need this for it right in the middle here. So make sure not to lose it. Uh, highly recommend putting these all in a bag, but keep this box because it has a code just for your vehicle. So that's pretty much it for this. So this has been the delivery video for this CHR. So this is Dan from Open Road Toyota Richmond. Hope this video helps you out.